A portion of the video is sponsored by Capital One Shopping. Go! <laughs> oh my god! You can see it! Working! It's actually working! Every Batman movie? No. Every Batman comic? No. Everything Batman is a lie. And no, I'm not talking about how an average rich boy with no superpowers somehow manages to hold his own in a Justice League full of actual superheroes and literal gods. I'm talking about the bat signal. The famous giant spotlight that Commissioner Gordon uses to summon Batman. I mean, nowadays, I'm sure Bruce could just pick up a burner phone, but back in the 1930s, cell phones were a long way off. Why, this is Batman. Also, what happens if they need Batman during the day? Anyway, why is it a lie? Well, it simply would never, ever work. At least, not in the way it's been portrayed so far. It's simply just not how projectors actually work. I mean, this scene from Batman Forever? Nope, not a chance in hell. But that's what Make It Real is all about. We take those crazy ideas from comics and make it real. So let's figure out how we can make a real working bat signal that actually projects on the clouds. Now you might remember Chris from our Guinness World Record setting giant flashlight. Something tells me that his experience is going to come in handy, and I think he's the perfect guy to manage this project. So, let's make it real. So you might be wondering, why don't we just try a big spotlight? That's what I thought. So, we bought one. And we have this bat symbol, and we're just going to slap it on the front, and wham! Bat signal. Just like the movies. That easy. Oh, you... You want me to turn it on? Yeah, 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 I can, we, we can do that. We can, we can test it. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. No freaks in tights showing up tonight. Hey, Chris. So, this doesn't work for a couple of reasons. <coughs> First, <laughs> we're going to need a cloudy night in order to project the image onto something. Our spotlight acted as a great light pillar in the night sky, but if we want an image to show up, we need it to hit against something. Something to stop the light, so to speak. Fear. Imagine you're at the drive-in theater, enjoying your favorite movie, but there's no screen. Could you make out the image through these rays of light projected into the sky? No, didn't think so. The second reason our spotlight setup doesn't work is because light is very, very complicated. Different light sources behave in different ways. Take your run-of-the-mill light bulb here. It radiates light in all directions. We want light to be focused in one uniform direction. So again, you might think, spotlight, right? Well, obviously it's not that easy. Let's go run some tests. As you can see, we have our flashlight and Batman logo on stands. Even with the Batman logo in front of the flashlight, we still don't get a projected image onto the screen. This is similar to our spotlight setup outside. We just need one thing to make this work. A lens. Not just any lens, a convex lens. So if we just take this lens and put it in front of our light source, voila! We have a projected Batman logo on the screen. However, this distance is very, very specific. If I move this Batman logo anywhere else, it fades and disappears. That begs the question, how does this lens actually work? The curvature of the convex lens bends light coming out of it. We call this refraction. This light bends differently depending on how far away from the center of the lens we are, where it bends barely at the middle and more significantly at the edge. All this refracted light converges at one point on the other side of the lens. We call this the focal point. If we look at our setup, we can actually see this happening in real time. If I take my hand and put it right in that focal point, I can make the bat signal disappear entirely. Even if we take the Batman logo and put it right on the lens, just like in the movies, we still don't get a projected image on the screen. If we put something at the focal point, but on the other side of the lens, with a light source behind it, we should be able to project a bat signal into the sky. We just have to make sure our light source is powerful enough to project that image into the night sky. That's why I've picked up these monsters of LEDs from Lighting Corp. Each one of these LEDs is 150,000 lumens. We're going to use four of them. To put that in perspective, this is going to be brighter than our world's brightest flashlight. 
so bright, jeez. Oh. oh, and one more thing. Our Batman logo is upside down. And that's due to how convex lenses flip images. I have a simple solution for this though. Perfect. Our next step is to take all these components, scale them up, and make it into a bat signal. This portion of the video is sponsored by Capital One Shopping. I wanna to talk to you today about shopping. If you're anything like me, you do a lot of online shopping and you could be overpaying. I certainly was. Fortunately, there's a simple and easy solution, Capital One Shopping. Capital One Shopping is a totally free browser extension that automatically applies coupon codes. But James, I heard you have an extension that does that. Yeah, but Capital One Shopping also compares prices when you shop on Amazon or other popular retailers, so you know you aren't overpaying. Does your extension do that? You don't even need to be a Capital One card holder. It's absolutely free and you can even earn rewards while you shop that you can redeem towards gift cards. It's kind of genius. Avoid paying full price and get Capital One shopping right now for free by using my link below. There's literally no downside, so without it, you might just be wasting money. This ends the sponsored portion of the video. Back to our regular content. Let's get back to the real reason we're here. Without further ado, I give you the Hacksmith bat signal for fans who can't see good. Cue the clouds. What is this? A bat signal for ants? What? How can we expect our fans to know this is a bat signal if they can't even see how big it is? But James, it's just a prototype. I don't want to hear your excuses. The signal needs to be at least three times bigger than this. He's absolutely right. Thank you. I have a vision. And so do I. Let me show our design to the world. And that concludes our broadcast day. Well, uh, that was weird. Yeah. Anyway, uh, this was obviously a prototype and James said we had to make it at least three times bigger. So we have an expert on staff here at Hacksmith Industries that can make things three times bigger. Akshat, take it away. I guess I'm the expert, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our new design, which is at least three times bigger. It's going to be consisting of four different parts. Um, the parts are going to be the barrel, which is going to house all of our symbols, all of our lenses, that sort of thing. And the second part is going to be our base. It's going to have some arms onto it so we can swivel up and down like we liked in the original prototype. So the third part is going to be the electronics box, which we have underneath. So that's going to hold all the LED drivers that we have. And finally, we're going to have the actual stars of the show, which are going to be the LED blocks. So I'm using that same sort of similar design for each one. And I'm putting four on there with four individual cooling systems and hopefully a much better cooling operation so we can run this for a real long time. It's not just three times bigger, but it's got design elements from a variety of bad signals. We took the cutouts in the barrel and we added those to our design. As well as from the new movie, there's this louver design and the Batman symbol on the front there. We know that anything on the front isn't actually going to affect the overall pattern that we project into the sky. And then a few other design cues. We like the fins on the bottom of this one, so we took that. It had to be really big from the games. We're taking inspiration from that. So that's a lot of work. I think we should get started. Yeah, I think so too. This is what's gonna make up our whole barrel structure. We're gonna first start off with the circle shapes. These are what we call the ribs. So they're gonna help create the circle shape that the drum is known for, and also allow us to mount things on the inside like our cymbals and our lenses. Giving some more structural rigidity to that is gonna be our one inch box tube, which we're calling our bones. So these bones are gonna help make sure that the system does not torque too much. So when this heavy system is being moved around, it's not gonna bend or distort in any way. On the outside, we're gonna have our 16 gauge sheets of mild steel. So we're gonna be rolling these and then mounting them onto the barrel, 
Once we've completed the barrel, we're gonna need something real nice and sturdy to hold on to it. So I had Mike cut up this four inch box tube for us and that's gonna hold our bat signal. We've got a lot of material to work with, so let's start assembling it. I told you we'd get this today, didn't I? I never break a promise. I never break a promise. A ring in here. This is gonna be the last one that we put in. Not every day you get to build a bat signal. Exactly. It's every other day. <laughs> just 10 minutes of this. Actually, it's doing all the work and it just cuts to me like sitting here thinking. Feels like it's been a long time since I've done anything on this, but that's okay. Actually, made me a box. These are the LED drivers. These things are actually really heavy. Like they're uh... <laughs> They're also very expensive. Each one of these drives half of one LED, and we need a day to these. Why did we just throw money at the problem? Well, there's money, and then there's time. And we spent a lot of time trying to figure this out. This is something that I put together. The problem with this circuit is that it got too hot, and then it stopped working. Who's done something similar to this before? Charles. Charles worked on the MA5 and he was dealing with a lot of current. So I went to him and he took his board and <laughs> retrofitted all of the parts. The problem with this circuit is that this big old inductor here got way, way too hot. And then we went back and forth a few times coming up with this circuit. It did work, it worked really well. And so to make it safe, we would have had to put this in a box, in a plastic box, and then take that plastic box and put that in another plastic box. You see where I'm going with this? Hence why we ended up with this guy here. It just did everything for us. So money can solve all your problems. Yeah. These are reservoirs for our water because it's all liquid cooled. The water gets pumped through here from this reservoir into this reservoir. So it just goes straight out and then it goes into our big radiator and LED array and that cools the whole system. So now uh, basically I'm just gonna, you know, do what I said and, uh, and uh, wire it. If you're interested to see how this thing works, check it out on maker.io. These are gonna be our panels. Then once we get to the roller, gonna roll it all up, make sure everything matches up before we stick it on, and then start bolting stuff together. So I change into this shirt because it's breathable, feels great, lets me get as dirty as I need to when I'm doing my work, and I got yelled by, by my supervisor. If you don't wanna be yelled at by Chris T, get your shirt at hacksmith.store. There it is. Oh, that's one rolled sheet, look at that. Woo. Awesome. That's a nice fit, that. Time to move on to the next one. Shouldn't have worn shorts today. Uh, with all the panels on it overnight, let the metal kind of relax into this shape. Really make this thing uh, deserving of uh, Gotham PD. All right, we got the barrel done. Um, Mike, how do I get out of here? Mike, what do you, no, Mike. Mikey, Mike, Mike. I guess I'm staying here all night. The barrel is huge, which means we're gonna need something real sturdy to hold on to it, which is why we're building up this U-frame. And to put it all together, we're gonna be MIG welding it. Boom. We've got the U done, well, at least part of it. Now we just gotta weld on our pivot arms. It's a thing of beauty, brother. Was it 130? Ooh, that's on the money. That'll hold. It's looking good. Who designed this thing? You did. <laughs> Watch it. She's spicy right where I well today. Yep. Try to give it a kind of a nice, a nice look, but a, a little bit more, a um, little bit more accessibility for the hardware, and also kind of keep that industrial vibe that we're going for. And this is how I switch from engineering to filmmaking, Mom. Look at these dynamic shots I'm getting. Who left this giant barrel here, right? 
So this is our mounting plate. Obviously, we need to mount our light source, the LEDs, along with our cooling blocks. These LEDs are super, super bright, which means they're gonna produce a lot of heat. So we're gonna use our CPU cooling blocks to transfer the heat from the LEDs to our water cooling system. Feed the wires through like a charm. Module numero dos, number two. Boom. Dunzel Washington. So Chris has finished up the box and Mike's still working on the barrel. So I'm gonna be wiring up our cooling system. These are our fans and our radiator. This is what's gonna cool down our LED system. We're gonna be mounting them along the perimeter of this nice octagon that you see over here. And then we're gonna be wiring up all the fans in parallel and putting in all the water tubing lines. Top one is our in. So this is where our supply line will just come from basically come out into one of these radiators. Now we're gonna just repeat that and go all the way around the octagon. We're filling up the whole system with water so that every single part has water. Oh. Give me the water. While Chris struggles to find the water, I have Mike with one empty line over here which is gonna go to our reservoir once everything is filled with water. If you come over here, you can see all the water. Ooh, oh. oh God. Oh no, there's a leak. Ah. There's a leak. There's a leak. Right here. How? I don't know, dude. You put this together. Oh, no. It's leaking everywhere, actually. I know, I'm gonna get give her paper towel. towels. <laughs> Are we doing a towel? bench test today? Yes, I said it once. I'll say it again. It's happening, okay? Well, you see, Akshat, the leak is probably coming from that fitting. The fitting that Akshat didn't tighten. This that, the leaking one? Okay. It's that fitting. The I don't. The fitting that's leaking is the one you didn't yeah, yeah, tighten. Yeah, I, I see it. Just, <laughs> I just FYI. <laughs> I'm just double checking everything because I don't want that to happen with electricity. Distilled water, which means that it's not conductive. This is gonna turn it on and like everything's gonna like burst into it flames. Can. Oh, <laughs> 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 All right, we'll just do the test tomorrow. <laughs> no, no, we'll do it today. We'll do it today. I just, I just need a break. You broke oh the co-op, Daryl. By saying absolutely Darryl, nothing. This has to be a new record, brother. Just gonna take a break. <laughs> like, the more problems we fix, and the like further we are from filling the whole system, the more chances there are that things that are slightly loose will start popping off. Let's see what happens. It's going over there. Oh my god, coming it's back freaking up. me out. Yeah, it's coming up. Go, 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 go. This is like marble works. This is giving me so much anxiety. It's fine, we zip tied all the key points. Except for everything in here. Yeah. Let's give it a minute to No, it's looking good. Why would you jinx it? It's looking good. It's still looking good. Uh, something's leaking out. Where, what? Oh my God. Can you uh, pass me some paper towels? We can just do this and we can just take it out of Box. <laughs> so smart. Are we doing a bench test today? Daryl, look at the time. 2.59. There are still two working hours in the day. So we're gonna do a uh, brief power test to make sure all the 12 volt works, which is the fans. And then what we'll do is we'll plug in one LED. And if that works with the dimmer, we'll plug them all in. Ready? Yeah. Holy That's dim. So dimming's not working. That makes more sense. Yeah, dimming's not working. Uh, so I'm gonna have to check that after. So we're gonna have to go full power. How it's hot is hot it? It's hot near it, but plate's not hot at all. Right to full power? Right to full power. <laughs> okay. Any last words? This was a good co-op term while it lasted. Three, Three two, two, one, one. go. Oh ah! my God. Holy. How hot is it? Any fire? Any fire? No fire. Oh, that's hot. That is so hot on the front there. Two of these LEDs were getting very, very hot, and the other two weren't, which was like, oh, maybe the other two aren't turning on, so we're gonna have to do some individual tests, make sure that they all turn on, and then find out why two were getting very hot and the other two weren't. So that's gonna require a lot more bench testing, so we'll see you on the other side. 
So Akshat and I were here really late last night. Let's uh, take a look at kind of what we did because uh, we found some things out. First of all, somebody made a comment about how the wires were disorganized, and I took that personally. We also fixed the water system a little bit. And uh, let me introduce you to our big lens. This is gonna go on the front of the bad signal itself. And as you can see here, we have lens, focal point with the little Batman logo here, and then our big LEDs. Bright lights. <laughs> Bright lights. Okay, so I'm gonna record on this. So we have a thermal camera here. So this will give us an accurate representation to show us if this cooling loop is actually working or not. So ready? Three, two, one, on. Ooh. You can see here, right about 25, 30 degrees. And you can kind of make out the bat symbol over there on the, uh, the projector wall, but we're getting a weird diffraction pattern. 70 degrees, oh, we're at 90 on one of them, so I'm gonna shut that down. So in general, what we need to do is take all of this, put it into the final bat signal, and then make changes as we progress forward. We're gonna be working from the bottom up. This thing needs a quick little paint job before we start attaching everything. So I got Chris pushing me over. I really should have gotten a helmet for this. I have no trust in this man. You see, actually, it's called working smarter, not harder. That's cheating. I don't have my forklift license. <laughs> got mine. Did you say you're proud of me? So now that we're done with this, our next step is putting that massive barrel onto here. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Oh, oh, I see it, and stop. Oh, yeah, good. Look at that clearance. <laughs> takes time, art takes time. We got uh, the barrel on the table behind me. And that's because we realized that the base plate over there, when we put the barrel on it, uh, the whole base plate, three quarter inch steel, mind you, very thick, started to bow down a little bit. And when James saw that, he said, we need to add more weight to it because this project isn't already heavy enough as is. So he got Mike to add steel details to the base plate to make it beefier. We have to cut a few more parts, so we have the lens, but it's in a square sheet, so we have to make that round, and then get some of the other cosmetic bits on there as well. It's gonna be heavy. We're gonna have to get this up on a forklift, flip it, and then put it onto the top, and then bolt it in. Okay, watch your fingers. I got gloves on, so. You got your fingers okay, out? Got it, yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh. This way, action. Sorry. And stop. I'm almost there. Uh, LED circle. That's next. And lean it. So I thought I could get crowbars or, you know, a wedge bar to get this up to the right height, but. Instead, I got two wallets that I'm just gonna wedge under, so. Hey Chris, where do you get those wallets from? Hacksmith.store. 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 I think we're ready for a full system bench test. Okay, three, two, one, go. Yeah, that's a problem. Seems like we got uh, the four LEDs projecting individually onto the screen over there. I'm gonna think about this for a bit and then, uh, and then get back to you guys because that's not good. Let me demonstrate what kind of went right and what went wrong. So first of all, this lens, taking all this light and making it all parallel to go past this guy, actually did work really well. So we kept that lens there and it's actually as close as it can be that it doesn't catch fire. This lens is still required. So this is our big lens on the front. However, 
we were still getting a blurry image projected. What I ended up doing was I got another lens that we actually had from the flashlight project and I put it right here. And that actually ended up projecting a very clean and crisp bat signal. That's the current setup. While I was working on this solution, we actually got a lot done. We ended up taking the barrel and putting it on the arms. James repainted the whole bat signal. I mounted all of the lenses securely into the chassis. Our cooling system wasn't quite powerful enough. So James said, throw money at it. So we bought this five kilowatt industrial water chiller. And we snuck in a little test to prove that my lens theory works. We still have a lot of details to work on, but we are so close to finishing it. One of the most iconic parts of the new bat signal is the cool louver design they have, which is actually pretty tricky to make, but we've managed to design a laser cut pattern that should do the trick. Awesome. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, it's missing something. The thing that it doesn't actually need. <laughs> hey, you're done! Woo! <laughs> now I gotta make sure it works. <laughs> We've been working on a new bat signal at Hacksmith. We need a few volunteers to start us off. Who wants to go first? Hey everyone, <laughs> check out our world's biggest bat signal. The first real bat signal. There was definitely a prop out there, but I guarantee it did not project from the clouds. It weighs over a thousand pounds. It projects 600,000 lumens, or the equivalent of about 12 IMAX projectors. So which is your favorite Batman logo? We got the original, the OG, we got the Nolan verse, and of course, we've got the new Pattison. Oh, I'll go, we'll go Dark Knight. Dark Knight? Oh, yeah, yeah. Good choice. I like that. Michael Keaton, the original. Uh, let's go with Christian Bale, the Dark Knight. The new one? All right, bring it over. You want to pick what we project? We've got the original Batman, we've got the Dark Knight Batman, and we've got the new Batman. So which Batman do you want to call? The new Batman, all right. So I'm gonna put it right here. And then, if you get your dad to help, you can throw the lever. Do you wanna turn it on? Yeah? Dim the lights? Yep. Yep, go for it. Batman! Let's see if we can summon Christian Bale. Na 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 na, -na. Hacksmith! Batman! Smith! <laughs> Uh-oh! Any idea why we don't have the Batman logo on the wall? Because that's not where the projected image comes from. Can you see the Hacksmith symbol right there? That's, the, that's what's actually creating the, the symbol on the wall. Why didn't uh, I put it in there? <laughs> uh, that's just how it works. It's a unique property of light and all the lenses we got in there. So you can actually put anything in front of this. And as long as you don't cover it completely, you're actually, you are reducing the brightness a bit. The other challenge is we want to focus it like a kilometer in the sky or something. So the blue LEDs will actually change to red when the LED, when it gets too hot. So we add it in as a protective system if we leave it on for too long. Yeah, we, we turn the light off and we let the cold liquid cool the LEDs. <laughs> That's a pretty advanced question. <laughs> and if we're going all the way to these tubes, all the way to that fan, yep. just light something. Yep. That went awesome. But let's take this outside and see what it can really do. Take it out the light? Yeah.
Actually, that almost looks like it needs to be focused differently. It's working! I think we need to focus it. We can see it! It's working. It's actually working. Yeah, focus it to where your hand is. Chris, what is Akshat doing? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. No, he's uh, he's taking the um, the Batman logo and he's moving it closer to the plastic panel um, to make it more in focus for the big lens. Three, two, one. Batman! That's pretty good. Turn it up. Yeah. Look at this. Wait, right there. That's, there we go. Fat signal. If you think about it, most clouds, they're kind of like fluffy and three-dimensional, which means if you're projecting on it, you'd have to be looking directly from the bat signal to even be able to see the shape. Any other angle, and it's gone. So we need really flat, low-hanging clouds to get the bat signal to work. And luckily, tonight is just like a cloudy, foggy night. And it seems like no matter where we point it, we can see the bat signal. So quite literally, a perfect storm for our real-life bat signal. We confirmed that it works, which is really awesome. Great uh, success! Great success. So now we're going to go terrorize. I mean, we're going to go shine yeah, it outside. Share, share the bat signal with the world. Yeah. Yeah, we can focus it a little bit more. Oh, it tastes weird. Like, really weird. It doesn't even taste like at all. And it goes upside down? Yeah. That's better. Okay, yeah, right look at that! Batman! Is that too bright? That is sweet. It's almost too foggy. Look right over the barrel. The issue is it's too foggy right now, so it's capturing all the light. That's the ironic thing about the Batman movies, is because like you need perfect weather for the bat signal to work. Are you the Hacksmith? Yeah. Did like a, yes. a laptop thing for like uh, I think Dell? Oh yeah yeah yeah. You're in town, right? You're like in, in Yeah, just have a Corey Street. Nice. Get the beamer slow rolling. It's been in progress for about three months now. Yeah. <laughs> It's too foggy right now. <laughs> Yo, you guys, like and subscribe. Show some love oh, to the guys. That's what's up. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Have a good night. <laughs> that was probably the entire theater. Yeah. All right, let's fill up our uh, bat signal. <laughs> I regret my offer. Thanks for the gas. <laughs> <laughs> and he All right, out. there's some gas for the truck. Oh. We need some gas for the generator. Yeah, you're good. Gotta, gotta fill up the bat signal, you know? Look. It's pretty crazy, eh? Yes. We have to get this. We built it. You built it? Yeah, there's everything about it. Uh, That's crazy, man. That's crazy, right? Can I take a picture of Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. He's gonna take a photo, guys. Yeah, go for it. So we have to like adjust the focus a little bit each time, and it's hard to tell. Oh, my still is crazy. <laughs> we filled our bat signal up with gas, so let's hit the theaters. I'm, I'm, I'm still hoping for like the perfect cloud. Like not fog, the perfect cloud. It's not gonna happen tonight, but this has been pretty sweet. <laughs> ah, yeah! That's beautiful. That's pretty good. That's so good. All I can see is bright white. Maybe we can blast it across the parking lot at the theater. 
so people see the truck as we come out, and then they look at the building. Yeah, yeah we are. Yes, That's we are. Awesome. Yeah. Are you guys fans? Yes. He You're is. a fan? Yeah, he's a huge fan. So on this, I'm like, that's something that that guy that you watch on, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. <laughs> you drive over there, we'll show you guys around a bit. Okay. And here you watch the channel. Awesome. What's your it's favorite project? Guy. It's the actual guy. Hello. I like uh, That's one of my favorites too. What do you think about the bat signal? Yeah, that's Pretty cool. Awesome. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. How much have we spent on this thing? Material costs about five grand, yeah. and then a few like literal months of labor. So you, guys, you guys made the lightsaber like a couple months ago, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you, you're hacking, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What do you guys think of the bat signal that we've made here? I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Neat that it's cool. coming out in the movie and uh did you guys just see it yeah, we yeah, yeah. no saw way it. you yeah. really just came out of batman and yeah. saw this saw that. that's awesome that's awesome yeah and then yeah and the okay, off -road one? yeah batman. that's it that's a wrap that's let's a wrap. go baby Woo. batman lo-fi oh yeah Ooh. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and get out of here.